the Washington Village Development Association, WVDA. Well, we're constantly told, call 911, let the police handle it. Believe me, I did that for a long time. But now one group is taking new steps to take back their neighborhood, how cameras and the internet are coming together to fight crime. It's our cover story tonight. Every major city there is an underside, a sign of problems still unsolved. In Baltimore, there have been many attempts to combat crime and grime. Now one community is fighting back with the most unusual approach. In tonight's cover story, Jeff Abel now shows us who's keeping watch on crime in Pigtown. Right there on the streets of Pigtown. This is actually one of the favorite pickup spots for guys that are looking to pick up prostitutes in this neighborhood. I the problems have become priorities. This is where we do most of our work in the alleys. Dan Cosgrove and Sebastian Sassy have launched war against crime and grime. Well, we're constantly told, call 911, let the police handle it. Believe me, I did that for a long time. The Washington Village Development Association. Four years ago, they started a neighborhood association and began leading the neighborhood in twice-monthly cleanups. The grime they found was partly responsible for the crime. This creates an environment where people are going to be convinced that they can get away with whatever they want to do. But after four years, Pigtown still has problems, and these activists are finding that if the problems can't be swept away, perhaps they can be shamed away. Pigtown's most wanted. This summer, they began battling the local drug trade by posting most wanted videos on YouTube. All but one of those profiled has now been arrested. People make choices, they have to live with it. If they want to do illegal activity, anybody that's doing anything wrong, towards this community is going to end up on YouTube and they'll have to live with the consequences of their decision. It's hooking all over. Now the cameras are focusing on prostitution. That's my house there. Sebastian Sassy is so annoyed by the sex trade in his neighborhood that he's launched Pigtown John Watch, a website where he posts photos of those who solicit sex and license plate numbers of those who pay for sex. The point of Pigtown John Watch is to show people that, hey, you know what, the citizens here are watching. We do care about our community, and we're not going to let you use our community as your trash dump. Sassy's attempt to shut down the illegal business has earned him many threats. Is that a dead cat? But Pigtown John Watch, he insists, is reducing the problem. Other neighbors, though, aren't so sure. They're going to do what they want to do regardless. But these activists insist the culture here is changing and promise the cameras will keep rolling until there's peace in Pigtown. The problem we have as a, as a nation is that we've just given up. I think people have just said, oh, the government's going to take care of it. And people don't want to lead anymore. And I think what I'm trying to do is just lead by example. Jeff Abel. So I see progress, I see opportunity, and I see a sign that we're winning. Fox 45, News at 10. The two are now producing a new film for YouTube on the illegal sex trade in Pigtown. The Washington Village Development Association, WVDA.